Well, hey, and welcome to another episode of Beetle Dustino coming at you again today with yet another video, yet another John Lennon versus Paul McCartney video. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, and last Saturday we pitted up. <laughs> The Plastic Ono Band Ultimate Collection versus the George Harrison All Things Must Pass uh, 50th Anniversary a Super Deluxe Box and the Flaming Pie by Paul McCartney Archive Collection Super Deluxe Box. So today, <laughs> see as we're really focusing on the Ultimate Collection right now, Imagine gets its turn, um, gets its head-to-head. Uh, -head, uh, as there's no more George, George, George McCartney, George Harrison... <laughs> And there's been no Ringo Starr Super Deluxe stuff. So it's just down to John oh, John and Paul <laughs> in this competition now. Actually, Paul really doesn't have much more competition after this. So up until Mind Games comes out. Maybe we'll do a, a challenge with Mind Games there uh, coming up. But anyways, uh, <laughs> today uh, the Imagine Ultimate Mix gets to go up against the Archive Collection. And as you saw probably in the thumbnail, you probably already know what it is. Probably not at all what you guessed when I told you guys all to guess what it'll be. Uh, probably not. But anyways, uh, before we get going though with that, I do want to thank all my subscribers and thanks to any new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And do hit the notification bell so you know when I got new videos coming out. Also, please give the video a like. It really does help out the channel. And do leave a comment. I love having a discussion with everybody. But let's get on with this next Ultimate Mix versus Archive Collection. So yeah, I'm getting pretty excited for a new Ultimate Mix collection to come out and, you know, all the super deluxe boxes and all the subsequent, you know, smaller boxes too. And just as a collector, I have fun with that. I don't know if I'm going to go as nuts right away. I'm going to definitely get the super deluxe box when Mind Games comes out and kind of go from there with the other packages. Wait maybe for some prices to drop and such, uh, the book and uh, the LP, all that stuff that's going to come out. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> This has been announced. We finally got the announcement. So I am going to go over uh, my thoughts and what, what all we're getting for the Mind Games Ultimate Collection coming up on Wednesday. So I just wanted to throw this in here quick just to say, yes, it's been announced. I keep saying in these videos, I'm excited for the announcement. I'm excited for it to come. Well, it's been announced. So, so there we go. Let's get back to this Imagine versus... Uh, so, Ultimate Collection versus Archive Collection. There we go. That's what we'll call it. Ultimate Collection versus Archive Collection. Let's get back to this video. And, yes, stay tuned for Wednesday with my thoughts on the Mind Game Ultimate Collection packages. It's kind of fun to see because everybody loves the Ultimate Mix. They, we really do. And we all love the Archive Collection. But the Ultimate Mix has just really uh, struck a nerve, I think, with us Beatles collectors. I think it, it's just a good format. I think they've really done well of course this was the first one in the series and the imagine album originally came out in the u.s on september 9th of 1971 and in the uk on october 8th of 1971 and this box came out and the rest of the packages there the book i think was a little after uh, but this originally came out on uh, october 5th of 2018 that's kind of the background on imagine there and like I said, we all love that box. They, they've really figured out the format on it, the size of it, the packaging of it. Um, they've all been uniform so far. The, the two other releases have came out since, kind of in that Ultimate Mix collection vein. I know some people don't consider Give Me Some Truth the compilation as one, but I do. It's right in the title. I think the true title of the, the compilation is Give Me Some Truth the Ultimate Mixes. So it's right in the title that is an Ultimate Collection, Ultimate um, Mix. That hit me though, that the album came out in 1971 and the ultimate mix came out in 2018. Well, which Paul McCartney album, like I said, the album, did the album come out in the same year? Did the archive collection come out in the same year? So forth, so on. Maybe it's both. And it did happen to be both. I realized Wildlife was released in the UK on December 3rd. So late 1971, December 3rd, 1971, October 1971 for Imagine, September and October, I suppose and December 6th, 1971 in the US, the archive collection, this one, and I'm showing you the right way here now, the thumbnail showed it the other way. This came out on December 7th, 2018. So a couple months after Imagine came out. So I thought that would be kind of fun to go head to head. Yes, the albums are in no ways 
worth putting up against each other. <laughs> um, I love wildlife, I do, uh, but uh, Imagine is going to top everybody's John Lennon album ranking. It's going to be the top one of John Lennon's on everybody's list. One or two, maybe even three. Even when you mix it in with all the Beatles solo stuff, it's going to be one of the top ones. Wildlife is hardly going to get um, mid-pack on a John Lennon album ranking, and it's probably going to be low-pack if you put together all the Beatles stuff. So, yeah, the album itself was a bit of a challenge. But as you saw last week, the box really does help out the score on this. So the packaging and everything. And I think this can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Imagine um, our, uh, the Imagine Ultimate Collection. So the Archive versus Ultimate Collection. Let's go through. I changed up kind of some of the rankings here. I realized as I was editing the, the last video there that uh, it, it's not going to affect the score from last week at all. In some ways it might. The overall total before the bonuses might change. But I decided the bonus thing was not in the right place. There was one that was in the main ranking I thought was more worthy of a bonus. And one that the one that was the bonus I felt was more worthy of being in the main ranking. We got, I'll kind of go through the ground rules again. Just ranking it out of the kind of starting with the media itself. So the album, the book, uh, whatnot that comes in there. And the, the, the material on it, not so much the packaging of it. The album is going to get a, a rank of 10 out of 10 there. The bonus audio will get another rank out of 10. The book itself will get a rank out of 5. And then the Blu-ray, DVD, audio, slash video will get a rank out of 5. So that'll bring you up to 30 for the media there. Package now will be kind of the next uh, category. And the design quality of it is going to get a rank out of 5. And then the value of it is going to get a rank out of 5. And then the, um, as I call it, the doesn't feel specialness to it, which is a very subjective one to my myself. And that'll get a rank out of 5 also. And then what I moved up that used to be the bonus was the other packages because all these got other packages. There's some other format of it. So I think it's more fair to go with that as part of the main ranking. So the other packages will get a rank out of five on that. So what became the bonus that flip-flopped with the other packages that became the bonus was the bits and bobs. Because not all of these comes with like a poster or postcards or uh, photographs or handwritten lyrics, stuff like that. Not all of these come with that. So I didn't think that was fair having that as uh, part of the main ranking, but I thought it was a, a very worthy bonus thing to help kind of bump up one or the other. So that is what happened there with that. So if you watched last week's video, that's what happened. If you're watching this one for the first time, uh, that's how the ranking goes now. <laughs> And I think I'm going to stick with that. And, you know, I might not, because there isn't going to be so much verses anymore, I might just do just a box set and just kind of show one and kind of say what, what it would be. And then we'll just kind of put it into a chart and look at it with what I've done on these other ones here uh, to see how they all kind of stack up amongst one another over so time. These first couple here will have a good uh, versus versus, you know, whatever, but the rest will just be... Here's this one, and then let's see how it went next to those other ones that we've shown in the past. So I think that'll be a good ranking to kind of hold these box sets to. And I think it'll work, too, with the Beatles Super Deluxe stuff, too. So um, we got Sgt. Pepper's, The White Album, Abbey Road, Let It Be, and Revolver now. And hopefully someday soon we'll have Rubber Soul. I think this ranking will work with those, too. So we'll see how those all stack up, too, amongst their solo stuff. But anyway, since I don't want to make this as long as that last video, let's get going on with this. And we're going to start with Imagine and the media. Of course, the media comes in the folio here. This one folds out, got a little bit of a trifold. I don't know if I'm going to show the disc here totally. So we're going to start with the album. The album's on disc one. Plus, it does have the bonus, uh, the singles and kind of the B-sides and stuff that was out at that time is at, tacked on to the end of the, the album there. Now, those I'm kind of considering more in with the extras, not the album. So that's not going to affect this score on that at all. But that's on disc one there. And you can see the Blu-rays are in there too. That I gave, imagine the album itself and everything. And this is the ultimate mix, so it's a remix. I gave it a 10 though. Again, uh, like Plastic Owner Band, like All Things Must Pass, I just can't see not giving this a 10. And I think when I do an actual album ranking of it, it's not going to turn out to be a 10 it's going to be a, probably a high eight or nine uh that's for this ranking we're giving it a 10 yeah i think that's pretty fair on that so the archive collection is going to have a lot to hold up against here 
uh, especially being that we're putting wildlife up against Imagine. I mean, it sounds far-fetched, but like I said, we're ranking the box in this too, and these do feel really nice and special, especially <laughs> just looking at the folio. So the disc coming to folio in this one too, and very nice high-gloss picture on this matte kind of framing of it. Got that on the outside plus the inside and there is your disc sitting in here so the album is on disc one here and this one i'll pull out so you can see the label a little better you got a pretty good idea of the imagine label there but it is the remastered album not a remix on this one wildlife i really like the album i really do i enjoy every time i listen to it but it is not imagine it is not plastic ono band it's not even flaming pie it's Definitely a Wings album. It's definitely a Paul McCartney album. Uh, it is rough. It is raw. <laughs> it is. Uh, sounds like they literally just freshly made it in the studio because that's what they but, did. Yeah, it's a six. The album is going to get a six on this one. I, you know, I really enjoy listening to it every time I listen to it. I feel, you know, almost rewarded in some ways listening to it. Not as much as I feel uh, rewarded listening to Imagine. But, you know, it, it's it's worthy of at least a six. Because it, there is some really good songs on there. I really love their cover of Love is Strange. Uh, I can't get that song out of my head once I hear it. Um, even the opening with Mumbo and Bip Bop. I know they're complete waste songs in a way. But they're fun. It's really fun. It gets you into a fun mood. And just kind of the jam aspect of it. It's just really kind of fun. But yeah, the album's going to get a 6 on this. It, I, we all had to expect it wasn't going to pit up that high against Imagine Great. on this. Moving on to the bonus audio. And this is where Archive Collection versus Ultimate Mix. It's probably not going to fare too well. Um, the newer Archive Collections haven't been doing too bad. But uh, the Ultimate Mix really is awesome on what they do. So the Ultimate Mix, the bonuses are going to be on CD2, CD3, and CD4. I'll kind of hold them there. So you can see them. I'm not going to pull them out of the sleeves there. It's pretty much just the clouds and the gray. Yeah, we've got the three disc representing this one. You yeah. get uh, the elements and the outtakes on CD2. Uh, immersive raw live in studio on CD3. And then the evolution doc audio documentary on CD4. So not quite the extent of what they did with Plastic Ono Band. Uh, that got, what, uh, two more bonus discs. So... They were able to do a little more mixes, and this doesn't have the full, like the Elements mix. Plastic Ono Band, you got the full album with the Elements mix. So you only got a, a little bit of the album with it. Stuff like that. So it's not quite to the extent of Plastic Ono Band. I'm really wondering if someday they aren't going to, you know, 10, 20, 15 years down the road, may re-release the Imagine Ultimate Collection with the full set, kind of like Plastic Ono Band and like Mind Games is going to be. I'm kind of curious on that. Now, did that hurt the score on it? No. I think an Ultimate Mix, even in this format, with the layout that they did, is going to get a 10. This is an absolute awesome box set, especially for the audio content, and that's going to get a 10 without any question about it. We got, so far, a perfect score going for Imagine. And moving on to Wildlife again, open up the folio again here, and our bonus audio is going to be spread against two discs. So there's CD2, and this is the rough mixes and then we got cd3 which features the bonus audio so that's got your singles and um i know some home demos and stuff like that on it that is what is on that one so nowhere near the extent of what you're getting with the ultimate collection also nowhere near the extent of what you got with the flaming pie archive collection that flaming pie archive collection had really good home home demos studio demos all the the flaming pies as they called it which would be the singles the b-sides the ubu jubu stuff this is nowhere near that uh so that's why i think flaming pie was such a good archive collection to put up against plastic ono band and the George Harrison 50th anniversary of All Things Must Pass. This one, I think it can go head-to-head -head with <laughs> Imagine, but uh, not quite to the extent. Again, the bonus audio, though, is going to get a six. Uh, the the home demos that were on the bonus audio one are very rough. You can hear the kids yelling and playing in the background. It, it's, it's rough. And honestly, <laughs> the raw studio... Uh, yeah, the rough mixes from the studio didn't sound that much different than the album because, like I said, the album was such a rough mix itself. It was just they kind of went into the studio and just kind of live played it, um, almost like it was a rehearsal. And the rough mix is 
pretty much that. And as a matter of fact, I think it is just the album without the, the final mixes onto it. So yeah, it's <laughs> not much in terms of that. Am I glad that I've got those versions? Yes, I am. But I don't think that they're worth a 10 in a ranking on that's some awesome bonus material on that. We're going to get on to the book next. And Imagine's book is this one here. A nice hardback book. As I said in the last one, that's going to get you good scores on this. I think it's got, uh, I know I got it written down somewhere. Yeah, about uh, 120 pages or so. Uh, so not quite as big as the Plastic Ona Band. I guess I got to keep knocking on that nice hardback book there. Uh, but yeah, you got the nice hardback book, nice information inside so of it. That's going to get a five. So perfect score on the book there. Not going to falter Imagine at all on that. So Imagine's going perfect so far. So wildlife on the book. Uh, here it is. Uh, again, hardback. Now they didn't do, usually the the archive collections have got the kind of cloth on the, the box. They didn't do that. They just did this kind of cardboard, real heavy duty cardboard, but just rough cardboard box on this one. Uh, so because they didn't do the cloth on the box, they put it on the book. So the book has got a really nice feel to it. Love that picture. And then the back, great picture of Paul there. It's just really nice, good feeling book. And it's got... 128 pages i did write that one down so 128 page book can't fault paul mccartney and the archive collection at all on this one so this is getting a five also a five for the book on this and now we're moving on to the blu-ray slash dvd audio slash video <laughs> seeing as they both come with that but kind of in different forms so of course the blu-rays are what we get with the ultimate collection and we got two Blu-rays there. So Blu-ray one, Blu-ray two. Look pretty much like the CDs, just gray, or blue instead of the gray. And the clouds go in there. You basically get the album on there. So you get all your 5.1 surround, Dolby Atmos, all those options, plus just stereo. You also get all the bonus material is all on there too. Cool thing with this is you do get, uh, with Plastic Ono Band, you got the Yoko Ono Plastic Ono Band studio mixes on their live studio sessions. On this one, you get the Elliot Mintz interviews instead of that, instead of some from Yoko, you get those interviews, which is nice to have on that too. I think it would have been nice that they threw those onto a CD instead of the Blu ray, so you could have it, you know, anywhere you want to go. Um, Blu ray audio is pretty set, pretty much for at least what I know of. I, there might be some high-end luxury cars that got Blu-ray audio options, but with, no, they probably don't because they don't put disc players in cars anymore. But yeah, you can't really, I, I know there's a way to do it, but it takes a lot of work to get it ripped onto like your phone or something. You're pretty much stuck at home with that. So it would be nice, you know, just to listen to something like that on that. Um, great interviews. I really enjoyed listening to it. I'm glad that they're there. Yeah, I but, wish they would put them somewhere else. But um, as there's no video though, I don't, think i can give the ultimate mix more than a three on that or the ultimate collection so it's getting a three uh i'm glad that you got the full audio content all on the bone on the blu-ray i'm glad that you got those interviews as a bonus on the blu-ray yeah it's just going to be a three on that moving on to wildlife with its dvd option yes dvd not blu-ray that's one thing that kind of falters on this i do believe red rose speedway gave you a blu-ray uh but there is the bonus video there on that disc the dvd disc there there isn't a lot on this one it's really i think it's about 36 minutes worth of footage all together but you got a scotland 1971 uh just some film of them kind of around the farm there uh you got some footage from the ball that's you know a little just kind of footage with the music playing in the background you got the ica rehearsals it's one of the other things just again just some footage of them rehearsing in the studio there and then you got give ireland back to the irish uh rehearsals that's about it and it's yeah 36 minutes worth of footage so that's all you pretty much got for the video there's no audio versions of the album or anything with like high res or dolby atmos and that however you do get the download card and that you do get the high res stuff and that on that. So do I count this? Well, I'm kind of looking at more physical media. I guess I'm going to say, yes, that's great. You do got this as an option, but overall the DVD on this, I'm going to give a three also too. Where are we standing here? So out of 30 points so far for the media, as we are to the end of the media, Imagine's got 28 out of 30. Wildlife is sitting at 20 out of 30. So yeah, wildlife didn't fare too well on the media aspect. So moving on to the package, and of course the archive collection, 
comes in these nice box nice um I, I got it nothing's in there right now so that's why it sounds so hollow this but nice slip sleeve box here uh that houses everything and it's been the same size this was the first one in the collection of course but ever since then the give me some truth uh the ultimate mixes came out in a box very similar to this when you got the big super deluxe version the classic ono band ultimate collection came out in a box just like this too maybe a little fatter but other than that it's the same dimensions uh so what is this 10 by 10 about so they all fit on the shelf the same except for maybe needing a little more width to it other than that they're the same and it's it's a nice heavy duty cardboard this is going to hold up very well over the years um, mine i think in shipping got a little ding there um i i don't think i'm going to fault the the quality on that with that anytime you get anything shipped you do run that risk but yeah i'm going to give the design and quality of it a four um all together i think if it wasn't up against an archive collection much like the plastic ono band like i said there if it wasn't up against an archive collection it might get a five but when you feel what the materials in the archive collection feel like it's you can tell that that is the top of the line you couldn't go any better for a box <laughs> you know this is the best box you could get yeah. and this feels like they could maybe step it up just one more notch so it's getting a full so wildlife on the other hand comes in this box here and this one is an odd one because it literally is just cardboard but it is super thick cardboard and it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart you know in five years or anything uh so there's the spine on it with the signature and all that there's the back and they they do number them i don't think that really counts towards much on this but i think it's cool that you get a numbered series and everything um this one particular one is a slip sleeve so everything just comes out the side a lot of the archive collection was like this and i do prefer this actually with boxes it's kind of nice having that clamshell thing like flaming pie but this this is nice too i think i can't fault the design on that at all if it's a slip but, sleeve yeah everything in there all the folios everything just really feel just top notch like yeah. i said you know like the folio here if we're looking at design and everything you got this nice high gloss photo the matte framing kind of around it the the cardboard on the the folio itself feels really heavy duty the book like i showed had the the cloth on it and just real nice hard back good quality pages everything it's it's top notch it's super high quality it, the design is beautiful i'm giving it a five so there we go with wildlife and imagine on that and moving on to the value um so this is really kind of interesting on this one uh archive wise i think this is one of the best value ones but let's look at imagine first so imagine you get all that material because we're kind of bringing in the media into this too now so you got you know four cds two blu-rays plus the hardback book and you know the nice packaging and everything on it i think it was selling for 99.99 us dollars when it came out i think you can still find it if you look around you could probably still find it for about that price i think value wise i think you're getting just bang for your buck you can't go any better than that so it's getting a five i, I really can't fault the ultimate mix i almost feel like any of these that are going to go up against the value is going to be there hopefully mind games holds the price in check uh like plastic ono band did too plastic ono band did go up a little bit but yeah you were getting a lot more material on the the audio in that so i think the the extra i think it was maybe 35 dollars more I think that was worth the, the value on that. So that got a five too. Ultimate Mix is really scoring good here, or Ultimate Collection. I don't know, is it Ultimate Mix or is it Ultimate Collection or is it the Ultimate Mix Collection? I've never got that with this, so. But moving on to Wildlife. Yeah, looking at everything we've seen so far, I think Wildlife came out, and believe it or not, I'm gonna say this is one of the more affordable archive collections, I think, altogether. $150 retail value. Um, now, one thing with both of these, I know the prices went down over time, so you could pick them up real cheap. I know I did not pay $150 for mine. I probably got it under $100 if you want to know the truth. So I'm not going to, I'm looking at the retail price, so the original retail price. And everything you got with it, you got, you know, what, three CDs, the one DVD, the nice hardback book, and plus you got some bits and bobs. So might not have with Imagine. And That's why that isn't in the, the ranking anymore. But yeah, I'm going to give value on Wildlife a four. So it's right up there. I can't falter it much. I can't give it a five. It is definitely affordable for the archive collection, but I can't give it a, a, a three either. I think a four is an appropriate spot for the value on the wildlife archive collection. So moving on to does it feel special? Oh, this one, like I said, is very subjective to me. Now I look at this box and I absolutely love it. And 
you know what all you get with it all the material you get with it too there's the track listing there i mean you could see how much is there there's a lot of of material on those discs i really feel like this does make imagine feel special so i'm giving this a five on this it it, it does not falter the album at all i think it gets a perfect score on that now wildlife too you look at a box like this all the you know stuff that comes with it, the book the folios everything it really makes this album feel special an album that i don't think a lot of people think is special i think this box does make it feel very special so, wildlife is getting a five for the does it feel special score so both of them got uh same score on that and i feel like both of them really make the box or the album feel special so now we're on to the other packages so imagine you could get the deluxe super deluxe box that we're looking at here there was also a two cd deluxe box which got you disc two got you the elements and the outtakes mix and there was a one cd which just got you the ultimate mixes plus the bonuses and then there was uh, two versions of the two lp so you get just the standard black one and then there was a limited edition clear vinyl one also about a year or two later you got a uh, 50th anniversary of the imagine album white uh, vinyl version so i guess you could kind of count that as another option there plus there was the book imagine john yoko book that came out and there was the imagine and give me some truth films that came out both on dvd or blu-ray um so that would have been nice if they would have put those in the box i think i'm kind of surprised why they didn't do that i mean 120 dollars will say throw the dvd in the box why not maybe sell this blu-ray separate or something if you want the blu-ray option or maybe just Give it both the DVD and the Blu-ray charge 150 bucks. Who cares? I would have happily paid 150 dollars for that with the disc in there. It's not really going to affect the score though on but, it. It would have been nice to. Well, yeah, it would have because the the it probably would have got a five for the DVD audio if if you would have had the the Blu-ray the film with the Blu-ray on that. And yeah. That. Anyways, so the other packages on Imagine it's going to get a four because you did have quite a few little options there to pick from. If you didn't want to spend the money on the big box, you could get several other options or if you just wanted to supplement your big box there were several nice options to add to anyways it. moving on to wildlife and wildlife didn't have a lot in this category you did have the big box it did also come in the the big barn box thing which also came packaged with red rose speedway and wings over europe which was the bonus in that box and that's the only way you've been able to get wings over europe so far so that was pretty cool on that. What was that? The Wings 1971 to 1974 or something was called box. Uh, everybody calls it the Big Barn box. So, so that's kind of one. I'm not really going to count that though as wildlife itself is pretty much the same in that. I'm not going to count that as one of the options, but it, it was an option, I guess. You also could get a two CD archive collection version of it. I think the second disc just came with the bonus audio disc. So the singles and the, the home recordings, demos and that, the second disc on that. And then there was also a two LP version of it. I think that was about it. So the two CD and the two LP are really all that's that we're counting on that. And I gave that a two because there were like two options. It really wasn't much. So if you wanted the LP to complement it, I guess that was a good option on that. I don't know. I got the two CDs, but it's because I didn't get the, the big set right away. So I don't know if that really we can count as a, a great supplement to it, but it's pretty much just the two LP. And I think that's enough to get it a two, I guess, at least on the points there. That does finish us up for the packaging too. So imagine finished. So I'm not craning my neck looking over here. Imagine finished with an 18 out of 20 on it and wildlife finished with a 16 out of 20 for the packaging which gives us an overall total imagine got a 46 out of 50 so very well that did even better than plastic ono band actually well no i don't know i i guess i didn't readjust the calculation with the other packages versus the bits and bobs wildlife finished with a 36 out of 50 so yeah wildlife <laughs> this is pretty rough for wildlife on this we're gonna look at the bits and bobs next and Imagine there's not much to show because there isn't anything to show. There is no bits and bobs with Imagine. I'm kind of surprised on that, the, that Plastic Ono Band, you got a poster and postcards where the LP of Imagine came with a poster and postcards originally. So why wouldn't they do that with the box set here? Um, kind of shocking that they didn't. There's nothing in there though. So no points for that. So no bonus points. Imagine's going to finish overall 
46 out of possible 55 with the bonuses. Now, Wildlife, any archive collection, has got bits and bobs. And there's the folio with it. Kind of folds out like this. And we've got uh, invite in here to the ball. Uh, we got a book with handwritten lyrics in it. And then below that, I'm going to show this much better in a, a actual what's in the box video. But you got uh, Linda's Polaroids there, reprints, recreations of the Polaroids. And they do come out of that so you can see them. They're just in a nice little protector there. But that's what you got with wildlife. Bits and bobs everywhere in an archive collection. As they're not quite to the extent of some archive collections with wildlife, I'm going to give it a four. It's definitely going to get a high rank, but not a perfect rank. Um, so it's going to get a four on that. So just helping the album out just a little. Imagine's finishing with a 46 out of 55 with the bonuses. Wildlife is finishing with a 40 out of 55 with the bonuses thrown in. I don't think it really finished too bad. And Imagine almost as right. I think it was 46 is what Plastic Ono Band got all together. And, and Flaming Pie got the same. So, I mean, Imagine is right up there with them. So I think it finished fairly well. I think Wildlife finished fairly well too. So I really do not think it, it finished that bad in that. Definitely lost, but no. it, it was bound to. Now, I think everybody expected I was going to do Ram with this. The whole reason why I didn't do Ram was because I realized that these both came out in 2018. So I thought that was kind of fun on the shelf right around the same time in 2018 too, within just a couple of months. And the original album came out with just a couple of months of each other in 1971. So they had two kind of like features on that. And like I said, I feel like what you got with the packaging and that, that that was enough to kind of boost wildlife up just a little bit to, to kind of match it a little more with the album. Ram's box came out, I think in 2012. I think it, it, it was definitely a really good archive collection, especially with the earlier ones. That was probably one of the best. I'm curious to see how that's going to come out when I do run it on this ranking. So as a matter of fact, I might do that next week because I, I, I do got another plan for the Ultimate Mix. So give me some truth. I am going to do a video on... Uh, it's going to take me a bit to do the research on it, though, So I because I want to listen to the albums all together. There is a bit of listening to do with uh, Give Me Some Truth and the album I'm planning to pit it up against. So um, in the comments, take a guess at what I am going to pit Give Me Some Truth the Ultimate Mix is up against, kind of like we did last week. I don't think that's going to be out next week, but it will be out hopefully the next week. So not this coming Saturday, but next Saturday. But next Saturday, yeah, I'm going to shoot for that. That gives me a good idea right now so I know what to start to research. I'm going to rank ram in this because ram was considered for both of these videos i almost considered ram for the last one because that's my number one paul mccarty album and it would have been pitting up against my number one george harrison my number one john lennon and then ram also came out in 1971 to kind of match imagine imagines ranked really high with my john lennon ranking ram's my number one with my paul mccartney so that would have made a lot of sense too, same year that they were released, not the same year the Archive versus the Ultimate Mix came out though. That was why it didn't make it in today's video. Yeah, I'm curious because that was top consideration for both of these last videos. I'm curious where that's going to rank. So I'm going to just take a look at the Ram box next weekend. Um, so next Saturday, you'll see that and I will uh, give it a rank and see what how it comes out. Maybe I'll kind of do a what's in the box with it and give it the rank on top of that. So that way we got kind of a full... I've never done a what's in the box on it, so we'll do a what's in the box and we'll rank it on, on the same video. How about that? How about that? All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, before I get rambling too much, I am going to get signing out here. I do want to thank my all my subscribers and thanks to any new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And do hit the notification bell. Also, please give the video a like. It really does help out the channel. And like I always say, if you have stuck around to this point, especially in this video, because I know this one's going to be a little longer again, uh, please give it a like and do leave a comment. I love having a discussion with everybody. But I am going to totally get signing out. I am Beetle Dustino, signing out.